Hi everybody, my name is Charles. Today I'm gonna to go ahead and show you how you can put two robots inside the gazebo's environment. The two robots that we're gonna go ahead and, and install is the Move It uh, Panda Arm and the Husserian Raw Spot robot. And um, I'm just gonna show you how you can move one of them and then um, just tell you a little bit along the way what you can do. But just a quick synopsis, I'm just gonna show you how you can just put, put these robots uh, successfully in the environment. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So anyways, a couple of things we're gonna get started put out the way is that I'm on Melodic 18.04. Um, for some reason, the Move It repositories further on get a little bit weird, and so we're gonna use um, um, an external rep a Move It repository uh, on this GitHub. So basically, just go, uh, just Google, just just a GIST Panda simulator, and make sure you have, you see these packages, especially most importantly the Panda gazebo. And then, since I am on Melodic, choose your uh, distro. So if you're Noetic, Kinetic, etc., so I'm on Melodic, so I'll choose that. So now, what we're gonna do is, so this is a robot that we're gonna, this is our panda arm. And then over here, if we go to the Husserian docs, the tutorials, um, I know I'm kinda speed going through this, but um, I have an exam in like 15 minutes. So, <laughs> so we're just gonna kind of, um, so this is our ro uh, raw spot robot. So here, we're gonna go ahead and create a workspace. Here's our terminal. We're gonna go to ROS workspace source, and we're gonna initialize our workspace. Okay, then we're gonna do a good old sudo apt update. And then when you do a sudo apt upgrade, you will also do an upgrade as well. So, okay, all packages are up to date, and if you do need to, you can always do an upgrade, right? So. There's that. So now we're in your source folder. So what I want you to do is if you scroll down in your uh, GitHub repository, we're gonna go ahead and git clone this package in additional to the Husserian Rospot description package. Um, um, just one quick sidetrack as we're waiting, right? Um, okay. So put this in here. This is our Husserian enter. I'm sorry, what? Why is there? Hold on. Okay, cool. I don't know why I was asking for my username. That was odd. Let me just check our workspace source. Okay, so we have two packages in here. Um, all right, sounds good. So now, what we're gonna do is, um, let's go back to our Ross workspace. We're gonna copy, oh, well, before we do this, we need to build our Pandaron workspace. That's important. So back in our GitHub repository, we need to build it. Okay. Okay, this is gonna take some time, so just be patient. Okay, so just in case if you get an error saying that the catkin um, was not found, uh, what you can do, you can just like, a good troubleshooting uh, thing, especially in Linux, is whenever you get errors, just kind of copy the error, put it in Google, and see what the Stack Overflow, overflow or any other forms kind of say. So over here, the, those guys said to do the sudo apt update install your ROS distro, catkin, python, catkin tools. So uh, you can just go ahead and use this uh, command, and that should work. Um, but instead of doing connect, make sure you change it to melodic or whatever your distro is, okay? So then now, what we're gonna do is, um, let's do this raw step install from the paths. So we'll do cd space dot dot, cd space, oops, cd space dot dot. And just kind of copy this, put it into there, enter. Okay, that's good, good to see. Now we'll do this guy, enter, fantastic. This is very important, please make sure you do your catkin build and not catkin make because the panda arm requires catkin build. Okay, fantastic. 
and then we're just going to do source develop bash. Alrighty, there we go. So now, gang, so if we just do a Ross launch um, panda, 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 gazebo, um, what was it called? Panda world launch. Should see your panda arm. There we go. There's our panda arm. So now, if we just do a quick source develop, so that bash, oops. And we do a cat can build. Okay. Before we do this, basically, I'm trying to go ahead put in the Rossbot. We need to edit the Rossbot launch file because I'll show you. In the launch file, it actually opens up, to, it actually uses like, uh, it's using two tags. One is opening the empty world, and the other one is opening the actual robot. So we just need one of them. So we're gonna go to Rossbot description, launch, uh, rossbot.launch, right? So this one is opening the robot, this is opening the actual world file, which is, as we see, we already have, so we don't need it. So you can delete it or you can just comment it out like so. Okay, and then we go back to our terminal here. Just run these commands again quickly. Okay. And as this is doing, let me go ahead and get my next command ready. That can build. Build. Okay, there we go. So now if we do Ross launch, um, Ross bot, this, oh, even before we do this, I wanna do something else too. So basically right now, um, when you run the Ross bot or the robot launch file, it's gonna spawn in the origin so instead of doing that, what we can do, if we go back to our source, Rossbot Gazebo, if we go to our launch, no, if we go to our Rossbot description, URDF, and if we kind of adjust our acro file here, instead of saying zero, we'll just put it like at five. Okay, save it. So basically, instead of the robot spawning on the origin, it's gonna spawn like five units to the left of the panda arm. Okay. Just do another catkin build here too. Alrighty, so now let's go do the Ross launch. Ross bot description, I think. Ross bot dot launch. Uh, am I forgetting anything? I don't think so. Should be okay. Let's see. Uh oh. Hopefully not then. Okay, there it is. There's a Rossbot right there. So now if we go back here, just minimize this. Um, now well, let me show you something. So if we go back to our source uh, Panda Simulator, and so if you go to your Panda Simulator your examples, go to your scripts. Here are some examples which actually can move the robot arm. So let's go ahead and do that over here. We can say Ross run. Um, panda gazebo, right? Panda gazebo, is that the right one? Oh, well, panda simulator underscore examples. And let's just do the simple one, which is, I think it's, well, we can see here. I'm pretty sure it's move it. Yeah, move underscore Ross robot. Enter. So if we go back to gazebo, we can kind of see our 
robot. I think it's gonna dance. Let's see. Okay, there it is. So our robot is moving. Why is that robot flying? I'm not entirely too sure. Well, I think I know how to fix it. If you kind of mess around in your acro file here, probably you can add more inertia or, you know, um, give something the Z velocity. Or you can give some something. Yeah, I guess you can increase your inertia so it doesn't like fly off like that. Um, but I think what's actually happening is um, it could sometimes when you put two robots together in simulation it can get bunk uh, a little bit mumbo jumbo just because of the links and so this is when it's um, a good time to upgrade to the ROS2 um, and kind of use a higher up distros but um, for the time being we're able to run things in melodic successfully and of course like if you do kind of play around in your acro files and of course maybe even you can in your gazebo settings over here you should be able to kind of get that ro robot all fixed up for you but um i hope that helps and then if you have any questions feel free to ask them down in the comments below and um i'll see you guys soon bye